Hey, hey, hey there. Catch this one. It's Barack Obama talking out of both sides of his mouth on government spying no less. Oh, dearie me. Hi there. I'm Barack Obama, and I'll speak out of both sides of my mouth. You see, back during the campaign, I promised the American people that there would be no warrantless wiretapping. When I was president of the United States, I promised to end that. I promised that I would not govern according to the policy of George W. Bush that the president stands above the law and can do whatever he wants in the name of national security. Ah, but then I became president of the United States myself, and now I'm talking out of the other side of my mouth. Ah, this is so much more comfortable. Oh, and I, I just feel able to express what's really on my mind now. You see, now that I'm President of the United States, I'm actually preserving that warrantless wiretapping program that I called illegal. The one that I once promised I would filibuster before I voted for it. You haven't seen that in the news, anything about me ending the warrantless wiretapping program after all, have you? You know, the one that I promised to end because it was illegal? Yeah, well, that was my constitutional law side of the mouth. Now this is my I've got the power so I'll do whatever I want side of my mouth. You see, just this last week, there was this court case, and I, as President of the United States, sent out my lawyers to argue that the President of the United States is above the law, having the right to purposefully commit a crime when he deems it to be necessary, that the President of the United States does not need to get a search warrant to spy against anybody that he thinks should be spied upon, that the government can listen in on the private consultations of lawyers who are trying a case against the government as they're talking to their clients. And again, I can do it without a search warrant. My lawyers, White House lawyers, I sent out to say that the President of the United States can withhold evidence from a court just by claiming evidence to be secret, even when the evidence actually is already a matter of public record. I've also said that I, the president, can send my lawyers to make secret arguments before a court, and the lawyers on the opposing side, well, they don't even have the right to know what my legal arguments are. So how can they argue against them? Oh, that's not the point. See, I'm the president now. I've got the power, and I'm speaking out of the other side of my mouth. I'm backing up George W. Bush. What I said was wrong with George W. Bush, I'm doing now. After all, election's over. And I can count on you just to forget about this little problem over the next four years before I run for re-election in 2012? Sure. Hope springs eternal. <laughs> hey, dear. You didn't actually believe him when he said all that stuff about change, did you? <laughs> well, it has been another regular times movie. Yeah. Because, you know, we are living in irregular times when Barack Obama is acting like George W. Bush. Oh, boy, you human beings.